The best is when you could do it in space too, because we can never see it, right. and we just have to take the. You know, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, they got a satellite destroyer. Well, can, where is it? Oh, you can't see it with your your eye. Uh, you have to go. You have to go to the the, the uh, Vatican and use Lucifer right, to right, see right. that. You have to have that powerful of a scope. Oh man. Well, I guess I might have to take your word for it. And Lucifer is in the Vatican. Yes. Oh, okay. Got it. When people ask, is everything a conspiracy? The answer is yes. Who and what is controlling everything and why? They, they practice sorcery. I can't argue against magic. <laughs> I don't know what it is that we live on, but I believe it's a realm. This realm that we live in is the lowest level of heaven, highest level of hell. Chicken snake gods and the Anunnaki and sorcery. If Sam says the chicken snake god is running everything, I'm literally in the world of crazy. <laughs> I'm winning. <laughs> You're losing. Conspiracy Social Club, aka Deep Waters. Deep Waters. Deep Waters. Deep Waters. Deep Waters. Deep Waters. Three, two. One. Welcome to Deep Waters. We're in it. Dylan, how are you? Tell us your vibe. How do you feel? Oh my gosh. I feel I feel stuck. <laughs> I feel I have a kink in my neck. Yeah, and, and not that's not that's really not better. some weird stuff. Some weird, weird thing. Oh, I got a kink in my neck. What? Like that's not really weird. Do you know what uh and we have so many things to get into. We have so much. False flags, Nephilim dinosaurs. <laughs> uh, yes. Chinese These spies. are a few of my favorite things. <clears throat> All of it. But really quickly, I mean, we've we've got to amend the word kink yeah, as really, a reference yeah, yeah, to this. I yeah. mean, it, it's just so understated how bad this is. Yeah, you know, well, I can't even look at it. There's nothing hot about it? No, there's nothing kinky about it. It feels like... You know what you're not turned on right now. You know what by immobility. Uh, do you know what a pillory is? Oh, if I've heard about a pillory a thousand times. You know those things you put your head into, like yeah. when you're going to the gallows. It feels like I've been in that for some time. And just the quick tale of how we got here. I went to Benihana. I was poisoned by rotted canola oil. I left a one star review. I know it's. By the Sorry. way, by the way, your outfit says I leave one star reviews. Just have to put that out there. I don't often leave one star reviews, but when I need to, I do. And I leave four and five, two even. Um Wow. Yeah. That's a real like you're doing math when you're down to two. Yeah, you're doing yeah, some yeah. real math. Well, you're calculating. Well, I don't want to hurt small businesses. Okay? <laughs> it's like that it's like that meme where the numbers are just coming out of your head and then you're like two stars. Well, this is the equation. So you get orange chicken, there are feathers and bone in it, right? Oh yeah, that's but it's a, a small business run by people who don't speak English. So you want to go. This place should be shut down immediately. Yeah. But you got to give them two stars. So anyways, the canola oil poisons me. I run red lights 10 minutes after the dinner so as to not shit my pants. Dude, respect. I eventually make it to a bathroom. Untold things happen. The sleep is ruined. The next night, I conk out. Before you know it, you have a kinked neck. So I do blame the African-American teppanyaki chef for <laughs> everything that's transpired <laughs> in my body over the past couple of days. Can't happen anymore. <laughs> Oh, fucked up. The worst. The worst. How the are you? The worst. Well, I was sick for two weeks, and I'm finally over it. I feel like it. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. And I talked to my buddy. He's on the East Coast. He's going through the same thing. Yeah. He's one weekend. Yeah. They're cranking that 5G up right now. Just cranking uh, it up. Is that what's going on? Yeah, you're getting hit. You're bang. You're just hitting it. Yeah. And that's why you're like, next stiff. That's so crazy. You know, I heard Christopher Nolan doesn't have an email. He doesn't have a smartphone. He just operates Bro, off of I a burner. Bro, I am so close. Why can we I not all just do that? Do you I, really need to email me? I, dude, I, I can't take Twitter anymore. Whatever he was trying to do has gotten away from him. And it's just... Oh, my God. It's just war bro I and know. i can't take it anymore the elon cucks should calm down a little bit because he's censoring 
whoever he wants to. Yeah, it's so crazy. Whoever he's like, I, I, he I'm not going to, to censor anybody. Everyone's getting censored. He's Everybody. like, Oprah, you get censorship. You get censorship. You get censorship. He's like, Oprah, in more ways than one, because I do think that his hands are covered in red uh, from those Lahaina fires. Whoa, bro. I thought allegedly, you were going to- allegedly, allegedly. Listen, we have so much uh, stuff to get into. Breaking news this morning. Breaking news. How's your mic? Real quick. Uh, can I get into guys? Uh, March third, I'm shooting a special. Big I had day. a nightmare all night last night. Literally slept the entire night, dreaming about me entertaining twenty people at this event. <laughs> but just know those twenty people, they got rocked, bro. They got rocked. They felt the power of comedy. Uh, if you in the LA area or anywhere close, or you can get to LA March third, go grab your tickets now. It's going to fill up. I know it is. It's going to be great. I just like, I'm just, it's just. This Do is- you want to get rocked? <laughs> <laughs> go to samtriply.com, idiot. Yeah, go, go to samtriply.com. Grab your tickets now. Uh, the uh, Gay Owl and I have pretty much sold out Huntington Beach. I think there's only a couple tickets left. And Bakersfield. Uh, there's tickets available for the sex show. Grab them now. Are you still showing up? Yeah, I might come to the Huntington Beach one. Nice. Oh, you're not going to Bakersfield, huh? Nope, don't go to Bakersfield. Wow. 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 I like Bakersfield. I love Bakersfield. It's it's great. The Jackrabbits? Come on. Come what does that mean? What are the Jackrabbits? I think rabbits? it's the Bakersfield Jackrabbits. Is yourself. that like a minor league hockey team? No, it's just... It's just oh, it's like the marauding gangs of uh, crack whores? Is that what you call it? <laughs> Oh, do you want to get in the gangs, bro? Can we get in the gangs right now? Yeah. I sent you that. Did you get this? I can't look anywhere. <laughs> Sam Bankman Fried is running in a gang with bloods. Ryan, do you have that for me? Did I send you that? I sent to you, dude. Just look up. Sam Bankman Fried running with a gang. It's so hilarious. What does that mean? Give us a synopsis on this. So he's already starting to service term they haven't given him his his actual uh dude this is great this is what you're the closest i'll ever get to helen keller right now this is true let's talk about that that's a conspiracy (laughs) no way she existed right (laughs) so so sam bankman i mean she was deaf blind and mute and learned how to speak like seven languages no it just (laughs) give me a break it never happened it never happened and that's just the hubris of these people like (laughs) give us two languages maybe we'll buy it but russian french it's where do you even jump off at (laughs) why do you get it started how do you get it started how do you go nipple nipple how do you teach her just what a nipple is let's not mock (laughs) Helen Keller. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. What are you talking about? You just said she didn't exist. No, no, How's no. that not more mocking? I'm saying she was a very accomplished woman. I'm just saying that her whole story of hope is a lie. <laughs> um, okay. What is... <laughs> this is a flu game right now. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, it's insane. Okay. Dude, Thank- can we do a mini doc about this episode too? <laughs> They just interview me. We need Ken Burns in here right now. Uh, Okay. To interview me and Ryan. And he just just had the eye of the tiger that day. The eye of the tiger and a stiff neck. Okay. So, um, gangster. Yeah. So, Sam Bankman Freed is. Can you go up? (laughs) Sam Bankman Freed poses with ex gangster in first prison photo. He's a good guy and no rat like Takashi69. Wait, is did he actually get behind bars? Who? Oh, Sammy boy. There he is. He's they have pictures of him. In behind bars? Yeah, and he's all upset because they won't give him vegetarian uh uh options for food. Well, listen, at least he excuse me. At least he went to jail though, right? Well, yeah, but the question is You're happy how about that? much money is his family throwing those gangbangers? For what? Uh, don't let them hump my son. Don't let your son go down on me. Right, That's exactly what. Let's they're do saying. this. It's a, it's a, it's a humiliation <laughs> ritual, and they need him to get fucking torn to pieces in there because it's part of the humiliation ritual. <laughs> no, this is beyond. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's way beyond, bro. This is way beyond. It's what does a, that mean? It's way beyond. What are you talking he, about? It's, he, there's no, there's no humiliation ritual. He's a humiliation ritual is like, oh, you know, John Kerry has to show up to the UN in a dress, right? Like that's a humiliation ritual. Oh, okay. 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 That, like, and it's almost like, it's, it's so weird that, you know, on one hand we have a culture telling us that, like dudes who dress like women are like some kind of unicorns. And then at the same time, the elites use that to like, totally bust your balls and make you feel like crap it is weird right then uh, you don't make any sense right now what Brian? do you know what i said there be honest you don't have to be do you know what i said right no, there he's no, completely you were lost there. look at him <laughs> look at him i was spacing out <laughs> okay, on okay i mean <laughs> yeah. my god dude <laughs> Dude, you could. Do you understand what I'm saying? That was a deer about to get hit by a fucking Mack truck. That look we just got from Ryan. Right. <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? Dude, listen. So we so part of the humiliation ritual mm -hmm. is making men dress like women. But at the same time, we live in a culture that is telling men that dressing like women is a unicorn. No, they're not. They're, 100, Ryan, it's not, please jump in. You're I, the youth. Is uni what do you mean by unicorn? He that means, you're a magical creature. Oh, oh! I thought you were saying unicorn in in uh, in its rarity. Okay, my apologies. Yeah, because it's probably not rare. the wrong use of the yeah, word. No, it's but when I think unicorn, I think mystical beast. Oh yeah, totally. Like when I think mystical beast, I think leprechauns. I think uh, uh, you know unicorns, Brad Williams, you know midget comedians. That's it's what I think. Crazy that you would go so low to the floor when fantasizing, because you know imagination's <laughs> free. You can think of as big as you want. I mean, Brad Williams is. It, have you tried to it, follow Brad Williams in comedy? It is impossible. I know. He's a mystical beast. He's a mystical beast, but so is a dragon. <laughs> Um, but anyways, yeah, no, uh, humiliation rituals are real. Just look at, uh, John Belushi getting punched in the face for some reason. Cause he's in the Illuminati. I mean, this stuff is really not quite not, but that's not really a humiliation ritual. Humiliation ritual is where you're publicly humiliated okay. on a very large level. So like Dennis Rodman's entire career. Yeah. I mean, but unless you're into it, yeah, then it's not humiliating, right? Okay. They're like, hey, dude, you want in? You got to wear a dress. He's like, yes, I got some. Right, right, Can right. I put them on? Right, and right, they're right. like, oh, no, 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 you That's can't. That's why he was so rogue. Yeah. That's yeah. why he was so rogue. But listen, there was a story that broke this morning. I'm sure it's going to break your little heart. And it is sad that, you know, these things happen. It was a very house of cards kind of moment. I mean, there's so much tension. In your neck? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, um... And, and I would say to people, if you got a Benny Hanna and like a white guy shows up or anybody but a bent Japanese man, get up and leave. Get up and walk out in protest and protection of yourself. Um, no, so the, the smoking gun for the Hunter Biden laptop case testified, I think, this morning and got up on the stand and said, I lied. And all the information I got was from uh, the Russians. So it was all, he, he essentially said that it was like a steel dossier, this whole Hunter Biden laptop thing. It's all fake. It was all hemmed and hawed by the Russians. And, you know, it's, it's quite, quite crazy to think about the few good men kind of scenes leading up to this. You know, somebody, he, he's at Chick-fil-A, he gets a dart in the neck, and then he's in a room and they're telling him, you know, this is what you're going to say when you get up on that stand. Sam, can you take it away? Because I can't talk anymore. It hurts. Uh, yeah. 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 So what you're saying. Do you want to look at the, the iPad? So, no, the no, no, no. I don't need to look at your iPad. Okay. Well, it's our I don't need iPad. To look, it's not, I don't need to look at your iPad. Okay. Okay. So what you're saying is with the trove of uh, all uh, that the, the laptop has basically been put out. Yeah. All that stuff is there. Uh, and what you're saying I'm is... I'm not saying no, anything. No, you're totally... You're gleefully, stiffly saying with, with happiness that none of that is real. It's all fake. That's what you're saying right now. No, that's yep. not what I'm saying. Yeah. <clears throat> so you don't think that the guy that is is that has the, the Biden administration and the full force of the intelligence agencies coming down on him suddenly just decided oh man 
That. Man, none of this is real. I made it all up. That's I mean, what I'm saying. Is that, is that not a famous scene from a movie? Are you actually dumb? I, I literally just said everything that you just said, and, and, and I implied that that was my opinion of what happened. And now you're trying to make me out. My neck is too sore for this to happen today. <laughs> I cannot contend with this. Ryan, am I on? Am I on? Am I taking cra crazy pills, or is that what just happened? That is what just happened. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what, what just happened. happened. Uh, I've, okay. got two, I've got two videos also. If you want, yeah, oh, can we watch them? Yeah, maybe? can we watch them? <laughs> and we have more breaking news for you this afternoon. A former FBI informant has been charged for lying about President Biden and Biden's son Hunter and their involvement in business dealings with the Ukrainian energy company. Burisma. No, mm. the reason why this is uh -huh. significant is that this individual uh, and his testimony was a major aspect of the claims by Republicans that President Biden himself had benefited from his son's business. There's one, one more. I mean, folks who Smirnoff is because they might not know the name. Right. Uh, this was the individual that had claimed that he had been told by somebody who ran Burisma right. that. Joe Biden himself was going to get $5 million for right. all these shady dealings. Right, right, right. right. This, this is the guy that Senator Chuck Grassley was insisting that this FBI report uh, be revealed to the public. Correct. This was the guy who basically provided hours worth of content on Fox, especially in prime time. This was the guy who James Comer, the, the guy who runs the House Oversight Committee, was relying on. As a, as a major source of information, and the FBI is saying the guy's a liar. In fact, so much so we're charging him with a crime. Yeah, I mean, like, is anyone shocked by this? I'm not shocked by it. The question is, the only like, shocking thing about this is how not shocked I am by it. What do you have to get from the reptiles? You know, um, so like, who's the person that approaches this guy and goes, "Hey, listen, you gotta you gotta say everything that you said was a lie." Uh, well, what happens is, is like, there's a moment where somebody shows up unannounced where he's like eating Chick-fil-A, right? And he's just like, oh, I love my Chick-fil-A. And then somebody sits down. Can I say here? He's like, no, really? Like, hey, you know, uh, your kid's doing pretty good at school. You know, uh, I, okay, I saw okay. him, uh, oh, he, he's on this, he's on this, uh, he's got a big trip coming up, huh? Right, what? right, right. What do you mean? It'd be a oh, shame if all the wheels fell off. Yeah, of the it'd be bus. crazy yeah. if that happened. And, <laughs> and your wife, I mean, dude, you know, it's real hard to get into that woman's group she's in. Imagine if suddenly images just showed up of some of the stuff we got. Somehow got off right. your television of you guys doing weird stuff together. Right, that, right. I, I didn't know things could fit in those holes, you yeah, know, anyways. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, it'd be kind of crazy. I didn't know you could use blood as a lubricant the way that you and your wife do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, exactly. Right, right, right. Like, it's just, it's crazy to me because we have the documents that show everything. Right, right. Like, it's so late in the game. We it's, have, like, unbelievable We have to the me. documents from the uh, computer that was dropped off to a blind man <laughs> who ran a computer repair store. Yeah. Everything about this story is so fucking weird. It, it, dude, it's totally crazy. And, and, and hey, that's what they want it to be. Bro, I mean, how many episodes have you been on and you finally got there and it took Brian like 300 episodes and he never got there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's unbelievable to me. Yeah, no, I listen, just different kinds of intellect. So let me ask you something. So, so is it possible, is it possible that some of this story wasn't real and they fab they fabricated and somehow gave it to this guy it's definitely possible yeah i mean it's definitely possible yeah but i feel like this stuff is it's so late in the game it would make sense that putin would want to try to torpedo biden's campaign so that trump could remain in power because trump would not have given this much money to ukraine he loves putin yeah so he wants to gobble Putin all what? the way down. What? Down to like here. You, you, he, you're saying he wants to DT him. Oh my God. <laughs> he, wants to, he wants to give him the old DT. TP. He wants to, DT wants to DT him? Yeah, I mean, even worse. <laughs>
I, 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 I'm not saying that the F, uh, the KGB or any of that stuff is not capable, capable of, of attempting to do something. Mm -hmm. I, I just don't, I, I, China, if you said China, yeah. Well, has the capabilities to do it? I, I think they have everybody bought. But sold. that wouldn't make sense because Trump is harder on China than Biden is. So they would want Biden in. So they wouldn't do this. So All right, Occam's so eliminate razor, them. Yeah, Occam's razor would say. Uh, dude, fuck Occam's razor. I'm just so tired of Occam's razor. Wow. It's such a lazy ass argument. You, yeah. You're Occam's razor. I know. It's so much lazier to go, hey, what? let's think long and hard about what actually happened. Or the adverse just going, it's Nephilim fucking baby eaters. That's what's going on. What's yeah. lazier to do? Well, because there's a there's actual evidence of a lot of this stuff. Of bro. Nephilim baby well, eaters? Well, that's an extreme. We all know you're do, you're just trying to be funny here. No, no, no. In an no, attempt no. with your stiff ass neck. I, I'm okay. Trying. But it's it, it's there's way more evidence of collusion than there is uh, of that. Uh, this this Russian intelligence agency, which our whole intelligence agency has been built on detecting what they're doing, somehow slipped this thing in and it got this far and then they just caught it. It's very, very weird. And, and, and this guy, this FBI agent, okay, Smirnoff. is going to come out and just completely lie about everything and annihilate his life. There's annihilating li oh, his life. Yeah. One one day he's going to come out with some tell all and he's going to be like, I'm ready to talk. And then you know what's going to happen? Boom. How did his car wind up in a river? I don't it, know. It just makes no, the story makes no sense to me. And Anderson Cooper going around, just going, giving hours of content to Fox, which I'm not a Fox fan at all. I, I think but that the, was, see, I think CNN that was calling out anybody for running with a lie yeah, yeah, is the yeah. most hilarious thing I've ever, that gay robot. You have to get a gay robot in there to say that line and not be able to laugh at themselves or start crying either way. Anderson Cooper is uh, not a gay robot. Yes, he, he, has, he has this new technology. The WEF has come up with adjustable b holes. No, it can Sam, adjust. Sam, boop, 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 stop this right go, now. Beep, 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 I'll, I'll have none of this right now. He is a Vanderbilt. He's a made man, and he does traffic in a lot of clandestine deceit. Okay, I'll go that far with you. But everybody in the news does. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right. So speaking of um, uh, foreign agents embedded within our democratic process, let's talk about this chinese spy what is this dude what so set the stage dealing with your stiff neck set the stage no <laughs> so basically what has happened is the city of san francisco has decided it's a good idea uh -huh. to name a non-us citizen to their elect electoral board mm -hmm. that will oversee their elections Help oversee, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, she is Chinese. She's from Hong Kong. She speaks no English. And her name is Wong. Okay. How Wong is this whole thing? Okay. By the way, okay. it's got me. It's completely Wong okay. that you would put Wong in. Am I wrong? Like, when did you need, when did they run this this meeting to decide? Was it during the Super Bowl when everybody in San Francisco was watching the 49ers? lose in the second half yeah. and nobody was paying attention right. and the only one who showed up was wong right and she what was what was her pitch on why they should vote for you ding the bow chow no 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 though what nope don't do that <laughs> <clears throat> why uh, listen we're here in the second quarter of this game <laughs> i've put up eight points respectable now you're asking me to defend from against your rampant xenophobia okay <laughs> let's just all take a sip of gatorade and and just come back to level okay okay it is a bad idea to have non-citizens be on electoral boards really of anything and i'm not saying that they they can't do it but it's just the law of the land okay um san francisco can you this the people of san francisco who are running san francisco can you hear me um stop <laughs> just chill out and stop trying to this is the conspiracy i have the republicans are running san francisco 
Okay. God. They're okay, they're go on. trying to make liberals seem look as so bad. worse as they look possibly so can. Wong? Look so wrong. <laughs> they are absolutely out of their fucking mind. So let's burn a city to the fucking ground, right? Let's be Nero. Let's just start lighting shit on fire. Hiring Chinese people to be on election boards, having people shoot heroin and stab people in the street. No problem. Are you telling me there's nobody in San Francisco that is legally there that could do that job? No. There's not one. No. There's nowhere. You can't go to the Tenderloin. Find B, B plug man, butt plug man. Honestly. And have butt plug man do it. There's nobody there that you are telling me that could stand in for Wong. If is that what say if that's what you're saying? This this is still a bad idea. Idea, but it's probably better than hiring Wong. <laughs> Let's do a homeless outreach program. Let's pick Whoa. some fucking fentanyl ridden bum off the street and let's throw him on the election board. He's at least a citizen. You, you know, know, he may be seeing ghosts, but so so what was holy shit, San Francisco. Uh, uh, yo. And I'm kidding. Republicans are not running that city. Democrats are running that city. The worst kind of Democrat you could possibly imagine. I didn't even think they could get this better. Well, it's just, it's just really interesting that, like, you know, it's like I definitely believe there's a uniparty at the highest levels, right? Without a doubt, and they're working together. But when you go, okay, let's take a look at what's going on in New York right now. Yeah. Let's take a look at what's going on in San Francisco right now, mm -hmm. Chicago right now. You have to go... Like who's running these these cities? Well, and it's New York obvious. is run by an illiterate human being. Like I, I, Eric Adams is, I mean, <laughs> Eric Adams is just a hilarious person, but he should not be running a major city. Well, I I talked to somebody from New York, and he's like, he goes to this. There's a city council. He pitches ideas. They won't do anything other than woke stuff. But and yeah. that's my whole thing. It's like. Okay, that's what you get in New York City. You just keep voting for them. I, 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 it's hard for me to have sympathy for the city. Just like it's hard for me to have sympathy for L.A. or San Francisco, a city I live in. But it, it, it well, you should have sympathy for the people there because the people do not want anything that's happening, which is... Then why do they keep voting for these people? Like, they just had an election and they voted back in that Skeletor lady who runs New York State. She's all... i like, dude, have you heard the things she said? She's like, if Canada came and invaded Buffalo, we'd have to defend ourselves. Like, try, trying to do some analogy to, like, a Gaza or some something like that. Oh, just, okay. like, unbe yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, unbelievably stupid. And right. then it's like, now they got an AD there that's like, oh, yeah, if Trump can't pay us, we're going to start seizing his property. Uh, what? <laughs> um, do it, you do you actually believe that the people, it's the, the corrupt business of the New York City real estate business is going to be okay with all that like like do you not think that they all get deals to help them buy these the these buildings well that's the issue with this whole trump thing and we talked about it um behind the paywall but um oh we got deep on that episode that was fun yeah that was a really good episode go to patreon.com slash aka deep waters aka deep waters you can't if, if you're going to prosecute people for doing CD inflating and deflating and corrupt loans and stuff like that, then do it. Don't just ignore that it happens, but then do it to Trump because you don't like Trump. It makes you seem like you don't have any integrity ethics ethics yeah i right? mean like it's like it's almost sad that we <clears throat> accept that new york city real estate is the corrupt one of the most corrupt things in the world the kushners are you kidding me yeah it's like they're it's all fake funny Look, money we, we've talked about the medicis uh putting money into the beautification of people's surroundings and we've talked about the sting of modern architecture look at kushner buildings when you go to new york it's like why did they make it look like Sauron's eye? Yeah, one hundred percent. Who wants to live in that building oh. for thirty five thousand dollars a month? Oh, absolutely insane. But listen, imagine paying thirty five thousand dollars a month, dude. That's for like, like a an, a condo. That's a middle floor. Oh, for a condo, bro. You have people living on both sides of you. 
Uh, 35 grand, bro? Can you look up, while we're talking about this, can you look up uh, most expensive uh, Kushner um, suite? Like, it's got to be. I mean, you have to buy those at that point. You can't really rent them out. But I would imagine they're in the 50, 60, 70 million dollars to live in a fucking 8,000 square foot apartment. But anyways, oh. um, there was an event that transpired at the end of last week. That was big news, okay? Everybody needs to be on high alert. And I don't know why we haven't gotten Amber Alert kind of notifications on our phones. The Russians have launched a satellite destroyer. And oh, it, oh, okay. it is a threat to our national security. That's so cute. Okay? So this comes at a time when the FISA regulations are coming up for renewal. And it's insane to see the Patriot Act cabal of our government do everything they can to ensure they can keep spying on us. Why do you need to spy on us? Yeah, I mean, you got our anything. phones, bro. Good God. You got our man. phones. But yeah, it's a, uh, um, what would you call this Russian satellite destroyer? Uh, I call it weapons of mass destruction. Right. In Iraq. It's just a giant right. psyop to elicit. It's, it's, it's. It's problem, cause, was it problem, reaction, solution. Right. That's right, what right. this is. Yeah. Fake a, I mean, the best is when you could do it in space too, because we can never see it. Right. And we just have to take the, you know, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, they got a satellite destroyer? Well. Can, where is it? Oh, you can't see it with your, your eye. Uh, you have to go, you have to go to the, the, the uh, Vatican and use Lucifer right, to right, see right. that. You have to have that powerful of a scope. Oh, man. Well, I guess I might have to take your word for it. And Lucifer is in the Vatican? Yes. Oh, okay. Got it. Um, okay. Well, so let's just establish something really quickly. Do you think space is real? Well, I think space isn't what they tell us. What do you think it is? I think space is probably like just a giant liquid. <laughs> it's just giant liquid. It's just water. <laughs> and and uh -huh. we are in cape we're we're in, we're encased in a like uh, some sort of dome. Soap bubble? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we're, we're, we're at the lowest level of the tree of life. Oh, got it. Okay. And they, all these have different realities up there. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the real spiritual ones can jump wherever they want. They come, they come down here and they treat this area like Tijuana. Uh -huh. And they just want to watch somebody, you know, get weird with a donkey. They'll come down here. Right. It's get weird. Then they'll go up here, where, yeah. you know, they go back to their wife up in the higher levels. Where You weren't in that low level, were you again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You weren't doing weird stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Were you down in the low bubble watching, getting weird with donkeys? Donkeys. no Just man drinking drinking fucking you know hang grenades and throwing them on the street because somebody will clean it up <laughs> Yeah, it's disgusting right. what the gods do to this right, place. Right, right. The guys just come here, stick dicks in weird places, yeah. and just get out. That's well, what they do. So this is obviously, I don't know if it's a false flag, but it's a, a load of bullshit. And this is what's good about the democratization of information. You can see this stuff, um, and there are so many kind of remora swimming in the underbelly of all of these news stories that the truth, I mean, not always. In fact, never what am I trying to say? It's good that we can quickly deduce that something is bullshit in real time nowadays. Now, that deduction might be an absolute lie, but at least we're trying. This thing goes up into space and everyone immediately is just like, do me a favor, shut your mouth. <laughs> No, so basically what they do is they just send up Pac-Man into space and <laughs> God, 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 and he just starts eating our satellites. Yeah. Is that what you're telling me? <clears throat> they just make stuff up. They're just like, and there's some people like the 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 guy who who's who used to be on the show all the time that just the Russians are just the worst, and they're just they're cussing out there, and now they gotta go to space. Yeah. They got, now they're gonna try to fight us in space. It wasn't space. so much that Callum thought that the Russians were the worst; it's just that he didn't want to fillet them the way that you do. Please, uh, don't get it twisted. You want throat pies from Ruskies. Do and not that is, want Rusky throat pies. <laughs> you do. I do not. You do. And let me tell you something. That's very un-American. I, I do not want Rusty 
Russ keep throw pies. You absolutely I'm just do. like, tell me how they're worse than us. That's all I'm saying, and I've said that a thousand times. Oh, very easily. Okay. Uh, oh, let's get into this. I don't want to get into yeah, this. Yeah, because you lose the argument They every don't time. have freedom they, they in don't that have freedom? country. What? They do not have freedom in that country. We like, have freedom like, in this country. Like, what are you talking country. about? Uh, okay, you want to start a business? You start a business, and then somebody comes in and... Listen, I don't want to have this argument because you're going to slice me and dice me, not in an objective way, but in your own way. Okay. And I'm going to be perceived as losing when there is no argument to be made. What's better, Russia or America? Okay. Okay. So, so We're I, at halftime. I'm not I didn't put tell up you as many points. That it's the, only five points, but two rebounds. I'm doing okay. Capitalism of America, I would take over Russia for sure. Yeah. Okay. But the notion that the Russian government is somehow a bigger threat to humanity than America is actually the most retarded. Okay. Okay. You I want I wanna I wanna throw pie Ruskies. You want to throw pie retards. That's what you want to do. <laughs> okay. okay. Hey, come one, come all. I love love. <laughs> <laughs> but so this thing got me thinking about false flags and i went down a bit of a rabbit hole oh i like this <clears throat> i mean pretty much every war we've ever gotten into is just a false flag yeah it's every so tragic I mean, it's just like it's so tragic you want to get into a war false flag it that's it you know um so y you would go so far as to say that the so weapons of mass destruction was a, a false flag. Yes. Uh, now nine eleven false flag. <laughs> well, there's different kind of false flags. Right. Like, there's a like you know it's like uh, the Gulf of Tonkin is a different false flag Thank than nine eleven. Daniel Ellsberg, we really right? appreciate. I all mean, the work like there's did. there's the presentation of something without any evidence that we can see. Yeah. And then there's the presentation where it's it's a high impact event meant to rattle to rattle us yeah. and uh, you know uh, raise up our anxieties, raise up our fears, raise up our depressions. Yeah. So we man and at the end of the day, every single false flag is a manifesting event to get us to to um, allow them to do what they want to do because their rules are the occult rules are we. We have to let we they have to get permission from us to do what they do. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's just lost boys. Now let's go through a couple false flags. You tell me. Okay, if, this if, is where I go. Which one is he setting up that isn't exactly how it went? So he <laughs> uses that as a sign that I am don't know what I'm talking about. So okay, go on. All right. Usually you'd be right. In this situation, not correct. I, I'm I'm coming to this topic of conversation. In good faith. Oh, you're meeting at the table. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I get you a water? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, Pearl Harbor. 100%. 100% false flag. They knew it was happening. They let it happen because Americans didn't want to go into World War II. Okay. We we were very uh, isolationist at that moment. Right. And we didn't want... And so... And FDR was just all, you know, riddled with... Uh, polio and he was like i'm bored yeah I, well he was just like he, he's he he was you know as much as we look at him as he saved the country through the economy he also brought in like the ever expanding government into everything yeah yeah he was rather tyrannical but that's the cycle of capitalistic abuse right uh once i'm not listen i'm not against that i i yeah. think it, There's real arguments about, you know, you know, what is real capitalism and what is like fake capitalism? Yeah, I, I'm yeah, okay yeah. with that. Just like, you know, because they say that with communism. There's never been a real form of communism because I just don't think it exists. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, nation states meddle in everything. Yeah. Right? So the, the argument that communism, I mean, it's, it's been tried, it's been meddled with, but I think if left to its own devices, it would, it would still be pretty bad. Um, but we have also used false flags like freaking late 19th century, like the Spanish, uh, American war. Yeah. It's amazing how many, how fraught the, uh, region of the, of Cuba has been 
for uh, like a hundred years we've been fighting over this fucking island just let them eat plantains and do whatever they're going to do why yeah. do we have to constantly fight over that fucking island but anyways the spanish um there was a revolt in cuba who knows if we sowed it but um it was the last like couple of territories of the spanish empire and we saw it as an opportunity to establish ourselves as you know one of the main empires on planet earth the i can't remember who the president was at the time but he sends down this ship called the main and it blows up nobody knows why it blew up nobody knows what the fuck happened yeah but they call up old william randolph hearst because this was at a time when we were we were about to tip into the overreach of the government because capitalism had gotten way out of line. Somebody like William Randolph Hearst owned literally all information and just said, uh, the Spanish did this. Let's go to war. And we just went to war. And we won, but false flag. I mean, we invaded Granada over nothing. Yeah, There were like some students who we said were in danger, and so we just went to war. I mean, Brittany Griner was rotting in a jail cell over a wheat pen. We didn't do anything about that. It's just well because Russia is a totally different thing. Yeah, then just Granada. like Iran is a totally different thing. China is a totally different thing. Yes. There's a couple of countries where we're like, okay, you know, it's like Godzilla can whoop everybody until King Kong comes, and then it's a different fight. Why? It, why can King Kong go toe to toe with Godzilla? I've never understood that. Godzilla seems like such a more powerful uh, beast. Because it makes a great storyline. Okay. And I love it. I was watching it last night. It was like so. And then we got a new one coming out. Dude, I'm so excited. Um, you're totally right. So it's not even, a, it's not even uh, only against countries. If you study Black Wall Street, that is a giant false flag to go for the state to go in there and take over all the oil. So they, you know, there's this, I think it's Tulsa has this very rich black community. Right. So, the, so the, the they discover oils there, and they're like, okay, we can't allow these guys have the oil. Right, right. So right. they create this situation where this white girl, who is actually like the niece or the daughter of the governor, okay, she says that this black guy touched her. He wasn't even near her. Right. And they just use that as a reason to just Go carpet bomb, bomb the Tulsa yeah. and destroy that black community and take over. Hey, guys, guess where that later gets played? And this is the game that they always play yeah. over and over and over again is they just use the same playbook. And that's why the Internet, for whatever you want to say about it, and like, bro, I was just thinking, man, like we never really understood how good we had it like 10 years ago on the Internet. It yeah. may not be like you know, to where it is right now in terms of like the blessings of being able to do a podcast like this. Yeah. But like the information that you could get on the internet 10 years ago was so beyond anything close that's happening right now. Yeah. No, I know. It's Reddit, Tumblr was insane. Tumblr, so many boobs. Especially if you had a crippling porn addiction yeah, yeah. that I heard about, people said. They yeah. would go on Tumblr, find some weird ass shit, right? Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, crazy. No, the internet is 100% dead. 100% dead. Um, and, and it makes me sad that we can't see that kooky stuff in the, the highways and byways anymore. Yeah. But it is nice that we can do a podcast. I mean, who knows? Um, does anybody really need this? Not really, <laughs> but, um, you know, we're here doing it and I hope you like it. Well, you know what's so funny is your neck has gotten less stiff as you've enjoyed the show. Yeah. It's the power of truth. You know what I think it might be? No, it's definitely not the power of truth because you said space was water. So yeah. it's definitely not the power space of truth. Space is water. <laughs> space is 100% water. Uh, I think it's this uh, Nucetra Pro uh, CBD cream, which is a sponsor of the show. Go to Nucetra. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really exciting Whoa, stuff. Whoa, rub that on, dude. Let me see no, you rub it. No, I don't want to rub it because it'll make me too vulnerable right now. I can't do that in front of you camera. Can say, dude, back in the day, you could go on Tumblr and see a guy rubbing cream on his neck. Yeah. Can't and, find that anymore. Nope, you cannot. And it's sad because people should be able to see men rub cream on their necks. Uh, yeah, it's crazy, dude. Into. Like, it's crazy. Do we have freedom or do we not? Mother Russia is actually better. Um, <laughs> no, okay. I'm not saying that. So, um... We, you sent me a bunch more stuff. What do you want to get into next? 
I, I mean, I, I, I talked about everything I want to talk about. Okay. All right, great. Well, I want to play this thing um, because we're going to get very deep right now to wrap the show up. Okay. Uh, Rye, can you look up CNN astrophysicist dinosaurs dead space dust? I want to... Did you find it? Uh, it's should an, I search on Twitter? Uh, no, it's on YouTube. It's an African-American man uh, who is an, uh, a physicist talking about new discoveries about the dinosaurs. Now, I want to play this because Sam does not believe in the dinosaurs. I do not believe in the story of dinosaurs. And the story of dinosaurs that you believe in is what? I believe that before the f Great Flood wild and crazy it was basically lord of the rings around this place doc uh, it was middle earth it was middle earth you had dragons nephilim giants uh, -huh. uh fallen angels uh -huh. brad williams brad williams right, right. <laughs> just running around brad williams like a mystical beast <laughs> brad williams is four hundred thousand years old <laughs> okay yeah all right that's how it goes uh, when was the Great Flood? A couple million years ago? That's a great question. Thousands of years ago? Like 30? Well, how old is Earth? Like 4,500 years? That's the, that, that is a question I I have. How old is it? Is it well, 6,000 years? There I love is, when you say like, oh, dude, it could be only 6,000 years. And people act like 6,000 years is like last weekend. It's like, it's so long ago. But it could be even more than that. We could have, I mean, when oh, was Atlantis? Whoa, 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 whoa. That is so brave of you to say Earth could possibly be older than 6,500 years? It's possible. That is possible. Hey, Siri. Okay. Oh, you're going to ask. How old is Earth? 4.5 billion. Oh, Siri, Siri told you that? Well, then it must be settled. Did you find that video? Yes. Okay, let's it's, play it's it. It's four minutes long. So. Uh, we'll stop it when we when we need to. When Sam's had enough of the lies, we'll stop it. Okay. In years since the dinosaurs ruled the Earth, and after a city-sized asteroid wiped out three quarters of all living species on our planet. Okay, pause it. But how so is that a lie? Uh, I mean, I... I there is a story of a, a something hitting Earth causing a great flood. Okay, so causing a mass a mass melting of the, our, our, our of the caps, okay. which caused a giant flood, which is across many different religions and philosophy. Uh, um, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Plato talked about. Uh, I think it was Plato that he's the one that cooked up the whole Atlantis thing, right? Cooked it up. That's so cute. Well, I mean, he was just he was. It wasn't the most reliable. It was uh, like he heard it from a person who heard, heard it from, it from a, a friend who yeah. heard it from some king. Yeah, Plato was was, uh, was. I think Plato or Plato's like dad or some went to Egypt and was like, "What do you guys believe?" And they're like, "Here's what we believe," right. and we have actual evidence of this, this, this. And, and then this. you get a bad game of telephone back to Plato. Fast forward a couple thousand years, and you guys, you got guys on Rogan going, "No, it's real, man. <laughs> it's real." Uh, can you keep playing it? Okay, there was a guy. Okay, go on. This doomed the dinosaurs remained unclear for a long time. Now, scientists previously thought that this was due to the soot produced from wildfires triggering a global winter. But there is a new study out that suggests that the fine dust from the polarized asteroid may have played a bigger role than previously known, blocking out the sunlight and shutting down life for nearly two years. Wow. That caused a massive collapse in the food chain, ultimately leading to a mass extinction. Yep. And the end of the dinosaur age. Joining me now to discuss this is astrophysicist Hakim Alushayi. And Hakim, you are here to really solve a huge. Can we stop? Me and so many other. People. All you have to this do is, is come up with something plausible <laughs> that pushes the dinosaur lie, and you could make tons of money. And this is so. Oh, so so the asteroid hit. The, the dirt went in the air and it stood up there. It stayed up there for two years. <laughs> it stayed in the air for two years and it was so bad that it blocked the sun out. Mm -hmm. And everybody, are you going to ask Siri if that's possible? I want to ask, I'm, I'm very tempted to ask Siri 
who is Sam Tripoli? Oh yeah, ask and just see what. what. Please do ask okay. it. I'm um, probably shadow banned there too. Hey Siri, who is Sam Tripoli? Uh, it says that he is a comedian and a conspiracy theorist Ooh. who is not to be trusted. Okay, thank you, Siri. Seems pretty subjective from Siri. That's an overreach, <laughs> in my opinion. Do you guys know about the guy who, like, theoretically invented dinosaurs, Sir Richard Owen? You know the guy who was, like, his, like, sworn enemy, basically? They got you know in a dinosaur that? war. Yeah. And they were the two guys discovering all the dinosaurs, and they were just putting stuff together... And they were like, oh, look at that. I found this one. Look at this one. Oh, okay. So it was, a, it was a, a space race kind of thing. Well, so so this guy, Mantell, was like the other guy. And he actually got some a lot of stuff right where like he was saying that they were bipedal. And like, you know, the Richard Owen thought they were like, I don't know, almost like tanks. Like they had like four, whatever. He was putting dinosaurs together all wrong. This guy, he was such sworn enemies with this guy. He completely disc tried to discredit everything he did and then when this guy died somehow he was able to purchase the guy's bones and he kept his bone his enemy's bones oh for the rest man of his life. totally reliable right there you think i'm unreliable you do imagine if i bought your bones after you died that is the most brutal dunking i've ever heard of in my life you bought my bones? You bought my bones? What are you doing with my bones? Untold things. Okay, let's listen to what this guy has to say. Published in the journal Nature Geo Science, and it seeks to answer this question. Why is it that we didn't know this before? And do you think it's possible personally? <laughs> Well, it is plausible because it is based on real data. So the actual material <laughs> is crazy, but it's 66 million years old, but we can still go and gather it and see what's in there. And so they actually found this fine dust. Pause it. And that was the experiment. 65, 65 million year old fine dust they found. And this one's like, you want a throat pie? Throat pie this. That's what she's doing. Oh, well, <laughs> Sam, do you you're you're laughing quite a bit at what this academic is saying? Yes. Why are you laughing? Because it's 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 absolutely ridiculous. Okay, thank you for using that word. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. And it, all this is just like there. Present your work. Show us something. He's just saying something. Yeah. And we're just all like, yeah, yeah. totally. Wow, did you hear that? What do you <laughs> want to do for lunch? Let's go Dave Buster. I mean, we just, nobody cares. And it's just, it's just like perpetrating this lie to detach you from God. That's my whole opinion. Okay. So the dinosaurs are a lie yes. meant to detach you from God who existed 4,500 years ago in a land where Brad Williams was running around <laughs> riding dragons. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think that wraps you everything got it. up. You got it. Great show. A, great show. Um, uh, I won. Well. I mean, dude, I, it, really you won because your neck is moving way better than it did at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. It's loosening up a little bit. The naproxen is working. Um, everyone go to samtripoli.com. Please grab a ticket to my my uh my live show i, I know it's gonna be packed i'm just it's just like this is every time i shoot a special i'm like is anybody gonna show up dana wants me to do bigger and bigger rooms like I, I, i'll lose it i just want to do a tiny room where i can put my friends in there and that's all i really care about yeah yeah, yeah. And you're gonna hear wonderful jokes about every group ever of all time <laughs> yeah like um what what's like one of the groups you'll be tackling uh i'm just gonna talk about how everybody's retarded that's <laughs> okay. that's that's my big ender <laughs> go to sam .com. get tickets march 3rd at the bourbon room correct yes um uh rockfin patreon bad tv for me at dylan pete wren for me um that's it oh you know where else we should put it? Locals. I'm not putting the show anywhere else. Okay? No, like the behind a paywall, the paywall stuff. Okay. Um, let's just end with this. Let, just a quick public service announcement yeah. to the fans who we love. 
We love you. We love you guys so much. I love you so much. Let's just talk about comment etiquette, uh, etiquette really quickly. Oh, oh ooh, ooh. Let's talk about comment etiquette really quickly. Was my fat going over the sides of my jeans? Okay. If it is going over the sides of your jeans and you want to mock Sam for that, that's completely fine. Okay. Uh, if you want my to say- My fat floweth over. That's a great comment. Here's a good example of a comment. Dylan debates like a lesbian. Yeah. That's a great comment. I think it's a great comment That's an amazing and comment. accurate. Um, here's another good comment. Dylan's face looks like if the Michael Myers mask was a real person. <laughs> It's hurtful, but that's Whoa, a good... Whoa, that was deep and accurate. That's a good comment. That okay? is a really good comment. <clears throat> Bad comment. Was that real? Yeah. Bad comment. Where's Brian? That's a bad comment. Okay, idiot? Because we've... To, we've discussed this. We've discussed it so many times. So you can keep commenting that for the algorithm. We appreciate it. If you need, if you can't come up with anything to say, just say that. But that's a bad comment. And things like I'm going to dislike this every time I see this. Let's just don't be a grown adult human and try to sabotage a show that you don't like anymore, right? Because you you have children, and that's a pathetic thing to do. So keep mocking me. Keep mocking Sam. It's all fine. Don't mock me. I have feelings. <laughs> uh, we love you guys very much. We'll see you next week. When people ask, is everything a conspiracy? The answer is yes. Who and what is controlling everything and why? They, they practice sorcery. I can't argue against magic. <laughs> I don't know what it is that we live on, but I believe it's a realm. This realm that we live in is the lowest level of heaven, highest level of hell. Chicken snake gods and the Anunnaki and sorcery. If Sam says the chicken snake god is running everything, I'm literally in the world of crazy. <laughs> I'm winning. <laughs> You're losing. Conspiracy Social Club, aka Deep Waters, Deep Waters, Deep Waters. Deep Waters. Deep Waters.